Hi, this is Chie, and um, today I'm going to tell you how to draw manga hair. I've already done uh, one video about how to draw basic manga face. So if you haven't seen that one, please refer that one first. Then this video is concentrate on how to draw manga hair. I will show you three different hairs and then how to draw and then how to change the uh, hair type, draw hair types and everything. Okay, let's get going. First of all, this is kind of template with no hair at all. So the idea is, uh, so this is a planning stage. So idea is you kind of put very nice wig on this template, I mean the rough sketches. So first of all, what I'm going to do is decide where this character's hair parted. Uh, let's say side parted like that. And then maybe so side parted, so the fringe would be like this. This is just rough sketch, so don't worry about it too much. And every hair, even though very, very short hair or very tightly tied hair, they have a volume. So think about a little volume like this before thinking about hairstyle. Okay. Well, you can draw ink as it is to just get ordinary seven, three side body hair, but I'm going to draw uh, spiky hair for this character. So next thing, now you've got part fringe, fringe, the volume, and now you need to think about the shape of the hair, so hairstyle. I would say, let's, let's go to a slightly extreme ones because it's a manga. So I'm kind of thinking the shape of this and a little bit of side a little bit of Okay, it's, it looks a bit strange still, but now let's follow this outline with some zigzag lines like this. Like that. Like this. And that. You just think about the best balance and volume, how each spikes are. Let's go straight up to you. Shape it. It's as if you are um, styling your own hair. You need to, you know, which area you want more volume, which area you want more tight and stuff. So this is a base of spiky hair. Actually, um, if, if you do this spiky shape, Oral with this kind of bubbly lines. You can get like Afro hair. So it's kind of fast, you need to decide the shape, but how to add those final line is you should uh, think about the hair type like leery, curry, wavy, just straight, slightly wavy. There's a lot, a lot of different hair types. So it's just how you follow those is, you know, it affects the final result. So 
So first one is spiky or some little afro-ish hair. Like this. And maybe you just want to add a little bit of little details like that. So this is a fast love sketch for spiky hair. So let's go for second hairstyle, which is um, I'm going to go for a uh, long wavy. So again, you need to think about where hair parted. Let's part this hair in the center. And um, maybe, uh, how about this character got all the hair tied up there? So now you need to think about the shape of forehead of this character. Let's say something like that. You can go for rounder or squares. It's up to you, or you can make a little bit that kind of shape. It depends on the character or how big the forehead is. It's totally up to you, but I go for something like that. Center part it. All going back, uh, go back to and tight here. So again, some volume. Remember, I talked about the volume. Now is the shape. I said this character tied the hair here. So let's show a little bit of tie point. And maybe big volume. And then I said, this character tied this area's hair here, but this area is loosen. So I add loosen it. So hair shape look like this. So now, if you remember the first one, I follow this line with wavy line like that. Wavy line like this. More wavy line. Here. So, if you get rid of this area, your character's hair is coming here and in front of the shoulder, coming here and in front of the shoulder. And also, I mentioned this character tied this hair. So, you see some wave here wave here, from here to there, from here to there, here to there. Just, you don't have to add all everywhere, but you need to add here and here, and a little bit like that. And here you got wavy area. And if you, Get a little, a little bit this area like this. It shows that some bunch of hairs in front of ear. Look how gorgeous this character looks. And then you just get a little, some unnecessary lines and then you've got 
nice wavy hair with top right area. Maybe you should add a little bit of hair coming from here and add, add some waves here and there. But again, you don't need to draw every single line. And then you don't, when you ink, don't draw this facial line. You just, I show you, you just need to like this. And maybe a little bit of hair, which is not like totally tight. Okay. So this is the second one. The third one I'm showing is more like very manga-ish uh, popular hair, which is like side parted, some volume, as you've already remember. And then this side here, hide one eye. This goes behind the ear. And straight, sharp hair, sharp fringe, very sharp one. and sharp. So this one shows you some hair behind and some hair in front like this. Well, maybe what we can do is forget about this hair. And then let's say this, here, uh, go all tight, tight here, so you can see the pigtail here. So big, sharp fringe hiding one eye, and all other hair are tight here, okay? Shall we ink this one? So, when you are drawing this kind of slightly tricky hair, you just, you know, I you, you saw that I will, I had a like rough sketch of a whole face first, then erase it because it's quite important to know that there is eyes and everything behind this hair. But now, you just need to add and then maybe ears because it's quite important for when you are drawing here. And big, big dominant area is this big uh, fringe. So I draw this fringe first. And next thing is this line. And these lines are going to behind the ear like this. So this is a fringe area. And then all other parts of this character's hair is going down to this tied up point. So get the shape first, but think about that hair is actually going behind the head and go this point. And now I'm adding our half shown ear. And adding facial what? Right. 
this part, I'm just doing it slightly quickly. So when you are doing it, just more carefully than it is. And neck and shoulder. Then here is the rest of the hair. So it looks like this. Now let's add in some details like inside of ear, inside of eyes. But since this one is about hair, let me add, for example, I'm adding that kind of lines to em emphasize that this hair is straight and going from here to down here goes sharply. And then this part is going down here. And this part is also going down here. So think about chunk by chunks and where the hair goes from where, you know. And this hair is tied here, so it goes. This part is the hair is really dense, so you can add a lot of lines like this. And if this character has got light colored hair, you can leave it as it is. But if this character has a darker hair, you don't really worry about those lines. If this character has darker line hair, darker hair, what I'm going to do is, for, for example, for the computer, it's quite easy because you just bucket colored. Uh, before going to bucket card, make sure you all the lines are closed. Yeah. So. Something like that. If you are doing analog way, I recommend to. Uh, decide where about you're going to give a highlight or you just use some nice brush kind of pen and then go draw something like this. So, something like that. Then paint it all other area with. If you are using um, digital like me, you just add all the block colored, block color like this, and then Use maybe eraser, then add uh, 
I write. My computer gets very slow suddenly. But adding highlight like this, wherever you want to add. Well, think about when you're adding highlight, think about the area which shines usually. It's like this um, kind of this area. You know, the head is round. So this area is usually kind of shiny when it's sun is shiny. And other things, if you, it doesn't matter if you're using analog or digital, is you can add uh, some stranded hair like this. Now you get like really cool. Uh, three different kind of hairstyle. One is like this, this, and that. Hope you enjoyed my workshop and then um, try to draw a lot of different hairs. Thank you.